There have been many bad relationships in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, and for some of them, the guy is definitely the problem. They may not be irredeemable, but these men, whether single or taken, won't be winning any Boyfriend of the Year awards. For a number of reasons, a guy can be bad boyfriend material, whether it be commitment issues, infidelity, or just an inability to make up their minds. Sometimes these men were still able to make their relationships work, but it was against all odds. Though their hearts could be in the right place, these are the worst boyfriends in the franchise. Sumit Singh. For almost a decade, Sumit strung Jenny Slatten along with promises that their relationship would get better. But Sumit was notoriously wishy-washy and wouldn't stand up to his family in order to marry Jenny. Sumit was on the fence for years, and fans were shocked when he finally married Jenny, though not after causing her significant heartbreak along the way. David Vasquez Cermeno. Viewers saw a lot of red flags in David from the moment he appeared on 90 Day Fiancé Season 5. David was rude to his fiancée Evelyn Cormier's friends, and he seemed like a terrible communicator who had some serious issues with sex that he refused to discuss. The couple got married, but fan suspicions were recently confirmed when Evelyn revealed they are breaking up, and that David was emotionally abusive and totally passionless. Jay Smith. Jay and Ashley Martin's relationship was a rocky road, primarily because of Jay's infidelity. Jay was a serial cheater and didn't waste any time after getting married to start texting other women and going on dating apps. He would make a terrible boyfriend because he disrespected his partner and his marriage, and Jay hasn't shown signs of changing. Jihoon Lee. In his relationship with Devin Clegg, Jihoon proved that he is not boyfriend material. Jihoon had a sketchy past that included illegally selling lost and stolen cell phones, and he wasn't forthcoming his criminal background. On top of that, Jihoon was immature and couldn't accomplish simple tasks like inspecting the apartment even rented before she arrived in Korea. Jihoon has a lot of maturing to do and wouldn't make for a good boyfriend. Andre Kastrovit. Although Andre and Elizabeth Pottist seem to have built a happy family, there are a lot of details about Andre that indicate he would be a problematic partner. The Moldovan native definitely has a temper and very rigid ideas about gender roles that are outdated and ridiculous. He also lacks follow-through with his plans and has repeatedly gone to Elizabeth's father for handouts. Elizabeth appears to be content with her decision to marry Andre, but he still seems like an exceptionally difficult man to date. Stephen Johnston. One of the newest 90 Day Fiancé cast members is also one of the worst boyfriends in the franchise. Steven has a major problem with cheating on not just Alina, but past girlfriends as well. Since he got married, Steven admitted on the 90 Day Fiancé, the other way tell all that he was sexting nine women behind Alina's back. Steven also has high expectations for his partners to follow the Mormon religion, but doesn't hold himself to the same standards. After demonstrating what a bad boyfriend he is, Stephen now seems determined to prove he's a bad husband, too. Throughout the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, there have been many boyfriends, fiancés, husbands, and ex-husbands, and many of them have shown that they are trouble in a relationship. These franchise men made for some of the most problematic partners and are not boyfriend material.